Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Josh's Backyard Builds. Um, yeah, just uh, I'm going to be reversing, reversing the the pr process that we, the last video, um, changing the coilovers. I'm now putting them back. I figured I'd record it, um, but mainly I mainly fucking making a video because I am fitting the K Mac rear sway bar. So, it's all up. I only me, it's only me working today, so it's gonna take me time. Start with the back first. Put these back in. And fit up this new sway bar link. New fucking it's, yeah, it should be should tighten it up a bit. <clears throat> yeah, I just gotta come in here get these. Undo these shocks. I figured since the uh, since the last video, I basically only filmed the front half, and I didn't really film Caleb doing the back. I only got just sort of checked in for little bits and pieces here and there. But hmm. anyway. Let's get these wheels off. Yep, beautiful. Thirteen million. that it's fucking nearly off it is off um, I'm gonna need to get a ratchet in there or can I get on there with a rattle gun hold on a second Oh yeah, yeah, fucking eyes will get on there.
Fuck. Watch from there. Got that one out. This side.
天气还来不来？哈、啊、，camera knocked in。Should we have to write that out? <sighs> Alright, so it goes. Let's fucking look at this. Try this fucking thing before it falls apart. Washer nut, bush washer. All right, that's why I'll go in between that. Excellent. Yes. Now I try to remember the fucking how that came out. The size difference. Hmm. Pretty. Yeah, just gonna try and squeeze this fucking thing back in there, under there, and. Get him into place. Um, I don't know where. Keep a look at that. that and I'll go get these fucking. Relatively, relatively new bushes here, but they're not matching, so... Alright, 
now. Hey Mac. Ah, fuck. <clears throat> Are we still filming? Yeah, we're still filming. I just don't know what really hit. Ah, foot cramp. Ah, uh, that's that. And It's just in the way you hear it. Someone told me that it's not actually a super easy job to put the rear coilovers back in. remember what reason they gave me but I couldn't I couldn't see it
I need to get that on top somehow. I'm pretty sure that goes on top. Sway bar definitely goes above this bracket. I'm going to have to take it. Jump the gun a little bit, I think. Bolting that up. I think I gotta slide it back a little bit. Fucking camera's looking at right now, but <sighs> right, what I'm gonna do. Just a matter of finesse, that's all. I just realised I should be put. I should need. I need to put grease on this, don't I? Maybe before I um. 
Back in. We're back in with the loom. A little bit more, a little bit extra just to be safe. Should be enough goop. all over the fucking tripod. Take this bracket off for the last time. Lovely and slippery now. <sighs> I've been talking too much in this in this video. Sorry, everybody. Um, a lot of concentration, really. Just doing doing something I've never really done before. This is a five, $550, yeah, $550, $540, this K-Max sway bar cost me. Oh! 
Ah, slow and steady. I think. I reckon that's pretty fucking close to where we need to be. Second guess is like hundred percent it was on the top. Because if it was on the bottom, when I undone them, it would have swung around or something. Fuck, I'm not gonna get this on. Oh, I'm gonna have to fucking. I have to double check. I have to double check. <sighs> yeah, now I'm just unsure whether the sway bar goes to the top or the below those brackets and I don't have anything to check here to check so I'm gonna have to go post a question on on the information group so fucking Jesus Christ I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm doing it right but then then again I feel like I'm wrong the other side the same
Thank you. That was fucking. Oh, fought me the whole way. That should be the last one. A bottom. 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 Beautiful. Probably shouldn't rattle them down too tight because I don't want to break them. really know how to tight to do these fuckers.
Hmm. That should just slide together, true. Oh wait, come back here. Get off your dog! I guess I'll just give these a little bit of a fuck. Just a little, little quick rattle, because. Too tight this time. Tightening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get somebody here to help me seat the springs. I think I get what I think I get what it, what that kid was telling me because a, a fella a fella on Facebook was telling me. So I go if it's if it's an IRS, if it's IR, if I, if it's IRS, easy. If it's live rear, you're gonna have a hard time trying to seat the springs, putting them back in. Okay, I didn't quite understand what he meant, but once <laughs> as soon as I set that fucking bolted that bottom one up and yeah, it made perfect sense.
go all the way up there at the same time this spring's got a seat up there so a second person might definitely definitely come in handy huh. through there at the same time. You see, I've got that almost centered. I'm thinking I might be able to jack it up and get it to seat. Tighten this side up. I reckon that's fucking, it's close. All right, so I've got these, I've got these lined up as best as I can. I'm gonna have to just go up a couple of pumps. Turn the light on. Yeah, have to go up a couple of pumps at a time. Get him to say peekaboo. Got to adjust them a little bit because obviously the angle, the angle changes, so they're not going to go straight straight up. They're obviously going to go up and to one way. Another check. See if we can see it. Yeah. Still a little bit to come.
Huh. Look how fucking hate just to go. I'm getting so, so nervous. I just need to fucking run it. <sighs> run it. Spacer on, boom. Actually, no. No, we put the rubber on. And then we put the washer. Then we put the spacer. And the nut. Careful that wire hasn't been routed very um, well. So it's actually starting to fray there, but that's actually to a. It's probably why that fucking thing shorted out. That's something I need to give attention to. If someone's wired up, wired up this fucking funky looking fucking light switch. Is oh, that's the original light? That doesn't work though. And this is fucking plugged in here. I don't know. I need a globe. That's that. Rubber. Washer. Spacer. Not. Now, what size Allen key is that? Probably about five mil, I reckon. I reckon I nailed it and that's a 5 mil. Ah, oh, cheap kit, it's not labelled, it's not marked. Uh, oh well. Where's that spanner? Unfortunately, there's no fucking shortcut way to do these. This is it. Open end spanner. Quarter turns. Dash doesn't 
clock doesn't work and the dash and the keys in. My phone's in my pocket, I'll finish this and I have a look. But um, I'm just wondering if um, still enough daylight left to have a crack at these fronts. Not have a crack, I mean, it's pretty fucking straightforward. Hey, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, comment comment to that young fella or whatever that was telling me that that uh, getting these in are tricky. Slow and steady wins the race. And I didn't have a fucking problem problem at all. Just had to think about it, take my time. I think we start to turn. Starting to get to the end now. Probably tighter than um, probably tighter than they were before. I'm gonna squash that rubber is, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Or should I run it there? Run it, run it loose. I don't know. I'll fucking loosen it off. Fifteen meals. Perfect. <sighs> top, pop these up with the rattle gun, but not very tight, so I can't get on there with the fucking spanner on the top one. The top one's just gonna have to take my word for it. I reckon I done them. I reckon I tightened them down a little bit tighter than what they were when they were in here. The squash, I've squashed the rubber a fair bit, but I don't even care. Did you see the mod that I did today? Check it out. Pass the shelf. The the tissues. The tissue box. Are they hard mounted? Yes. Nice. Yes, they're hard mounted because I put them up there and they kept sliding around and fucking landing on my speaker and then vibrating. Um. Oh, there's my phone. Dropped it on the floor before. Just buttoning up, buttoning up the trim. I know it's not factory. But I have, um. Why isn't that fucking. 
Hmm. I'll fix that. Yes, I know. I know it's not fucking supposed to be for that. I know this. That is how you don't <laughs> install. Oh, I broke it. Fuck, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna glue. Just gonna fill it in there. Ugh. All right, and now I'll push it, seal it back up. Hold it there for a few seconds. I've had really good experience with this glue so far. What did you expect was gonna happen hitting it with the hammer? I mean, honestly. But I do have I do have the two hooks on either side and I am going to get a cargo barrier net. Um I don't know, I just think they're cool. No real reason. Yeah, you can cargo barrier net from there to there. Detail again. Just a bit of I don't know why, I know they're going to spin, but I wanted the fucking Ford symbols to be. Upright. <coughs> right in the way here, aren't I?
Just. Just. Yeah, this jack's um, it's got a few quirks, a few tricks. Don't often have to use this cut. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but that's hard mounted to the parcel shelf. So I step back and oh yeah, that'll keep all the fucking the young lads fucking the young lads will love that. Squatted in the back like they like a fucking idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this uh Right, so that's pretty much that. I'm not gonna do the front in this episode, and honestly, it wasn't a fucking. That's a how if that's a how to fit coil rear coilovers in a fucking live rear sedan. Sweet, um, I've covered that. But fitting front struts, I don't, I don't think it's a, really important. Doesn't need to be done in this video. So I'm gonna wrap the video up and then uh, just fit the. Fit the fronts off camera. Um, I like, want to thank everybody, everybody that's been that subscribed, anyone that watches the videos, everybody, everybody that's supported me this part this far. I want to say a big thank you. Um, yeah, just keep liking the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, comment, comment. Like, surely, I don't know. Surely, I say some shit you can comment on. Just comment, fucking. Make fun of me, it'll be good. Alright, love you guys, drive carefully. Peace out. Yeah, now I can't let I can't let all you fucking lovely people there under the under the impression that I just finished. Oh my battery's flat. Yeah, that I just finished putting this back together and you know flawless vi flawless victory. You see that? I don't know if you actually anybody noticed and through watching the video picked it up, but um, that's not right. I gotta take it apart and do it again. So this is just a bit of bonus footage. I'll put this in at the end after the outro, just to say it's not all perfect and sunshine and rainbows. I'm gonna do that again.